Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another step-by-step. -step. We've got a vintage portrait we're doing in tonight's video. It's a female from like set back in like the early, I'd say probably 40s type dress, 40s, 50s. So we're going to paint this one in FW inks and we're using sepia. I've got a mix mixed up here. I'll pop the mix ratios and the air pressures that we are running in tonight's video on the screen right now. Right, so that's the mix that we are using. You can change that up if you need, to go, need it to go thinner. You could add more isopropanol or more water. But that's the mix I've put together in this little pot here and sort of doubled up. So I've made a bit more of a mix. So I've got plenty to do the whole portrait. But they're just sort of guidelines to go from if you are mixing this paint. Air pressure, you're seeing in that 22 PSI. And then on the little Mac valve on the airline here i can dial this in to what i want taking the crown cap off just testing to the side and we've got a really nice flow we're using the evo again can't put it down absolutely love it at the minute 2024 evo by harder and steenbeck brush of choice for this portrait and these monochrome portraits so i'm going to move in a little bit closer talk you through the process and I'll just talk you through the bits that we go along. If I'm using shields, you'll get to see and I'll talk you through it. Let's crack on. Right guys, we are ready to go. Prong cap off. And we're just gonna go in and start on the eyes. Going soft again. We can build this up. And I'm getting overspray that's just actually spilling into the eye, so. Because I'm going really light and backing off. And move over to this one, we've dropped a first pass in here. And do the same on this one. Going nice and light. a little bit of paint in Round. Just 
the tiny little bits of like makeup that are built up. Just darkening that off. Soft fade off that. Coming in. Coming down. Just working down on this eye. Just darkening this piece off on the top. Move over to the other one. A bit of tip dry. Working around this eye. Just fade that into the top. this in here so we've got the eyes coming on nicely just backing off on this the piece under the eye Drop this eyebrow in, little splatter there from the tip dry, but it just splatted onto the eyelash, which was helpful. Just going to thin this mix that I've got in the brush. Just give it a little back bubble. Just working on this eyebrow. in here 
Oh, round the top of the forehead there. A little bit darker here. Just gonna drop a little shadow down that nose and then coming round into this. Little shadow round here. Little bit of soft shading. Around the nose and then just a a little bit of softness coming down this nose into the eye. And just start to map the face out now. Start putting some tones in. Just zoom out. So we've just done the Superman on the channel that was today's one and I thought no I need to get back in the studio we need to do another one so I jumped straight back onto another portrait a little bit on the corner of this nose just kicking in Just here. Little shadow there, just a little bit more. Coming down the side of the face. I need to roll that off into the dark here. Just take this edge. Just a little. I'm just going to fog a little bit in at the bottom, bring that down into there, just take that a little bit higher. We're going to go darker on this, into the side here, need to bring Just need to tone in here, coming down. And then we can roll this jawline in. Soft shade. And bring this in slightly. Just a little pass under here. We'll be going darker. All right, let's get this eyebrow in. We have got some little strands, some nice little dagger strokes on here. Fade out and then slightly come back here. And they just disappear off into this piece. A 
little bit more here. Bit more of a tone in here. Back over to this eye, a little bit darker in here. coming in on that starting to come in here we'll just work a little pass of the hair in Work these strands in. darker in here. So just dagger strokes for the hair. Start working a bit more of this. Make them a little bit. Back. Pass that for 
and roll that over a bit. Work on the lips. Before we do that, we'll just do another little pass here. Working shadows and shading this lip in. Cold in the studio now, no heating, and my finger is cold to the top of the trigger because it's night time. It does cool down in here pretty quick. Just going to drop a little pass over that forehead. Right, I think now we're going to leave that face as it is, and we're going to start to work down the bottom area. 
and just get this dark tone in down the bottom. Like that. Just bring this one. paint down, building it up, what a nice nice and light building this up. some little textures on this. Just flicking the brush on and off the trigger and moving and just creating a, a mottled dot pattern on that. in this top, just on the top here. We can hit them with the Posca paint pen because their highlights right on this edge here. in. This is going to go really dark here. This was on the grey scale, which it mean this would be just basically black under here. Because we've got the seep here, we've really got to build it up. I'm just going to do a pass over there, just colour it in. Follow that shoulder around. And I've got some weird little dot patterns in here. There's a couple of highlights. Just mark them where they're going to go. We'll just shade that in. A little bit of a transition coming off the shoulder and down. And there's a little bit on this front edge just here. Darker to the back. Round. This pattern on this is just going to be Fred. It's like a lace pattern, so I'm just going to do a real up close. On and off with the trigger and just basically doing 
draw in with the brush. Flick out like that and just make your own pattern up. Tiny little dagger strokes. Just do some lace type effect. that in dark on this piece right here we're going to go back over this this shades out dark we've got the lace coming down again here now we've got Crease running up and a little bit here just coming off. Just a little. I don't mind about the overspray where this is going here. Let's just get some paint down. Put a darker section here. Run that up. Roll that down a bit. That's that bit. Another little there. That's going to go darker there. That's the lace pattern again. We can freehand that. We've got the other shoulder just here, so I can drop a little bit over that. Coming round. Darken that out there. We're going to move back up to here and the earring, if you can see the earring, when you zoom it right in, it's basically, I'm going to do similar as I've done to the lace pattern. Just going to go in freehand and draw it in. We've got this part, the bottom part of the ear, so we'll just drop that dark in here. That little bit there just comes round. Little bit that's sort of all you see of the ear. And that just goes into dark. Around here. Down on this edge, dark. And we're just going to darken this. A bit on the earring. Coming down. This goes into dark. 
And then we're just going to do little sections and make my own pattern up for the earring because that is so intricate. So we'll just do our own shapes. And just create something that looks like what we are looking at. Working minimal trigger and doing the real fine sort of lines. And just creating a pattern. Tiny little dagger stroke dots. We've got dark in here, some wrap the hair to do these, these textures here, here and here. We've got a rose to put in. And then the sort of, looks like a hat, like a tie back top sort of thing, material in the top. Do that and then we can start darkening things off, whiz down to the bottom. I'm gonna get this top piece in, this little bit of hair do the first pass, dagger strokes. Coming in. And this sort of scoops round. Into here. Under here, it's gonna be dark. Work in the hair. I've not done too bad considering I've not got my glasses on for this one. So I'm having to double look at where I'm trying to go. Usually I have glasses on, I'd be fine. But I've left them in the house, so we'll just crack on and get it finished. Just gotta really try and focus on what I'm doing. 
pot the flour. That's coming dark in here. I'm just going to puff some paint in here. highlights out so this is the beauty when you have the you can have the uh, like synthetic papers to get the real white highlights because I don't want to put some I don't want to put white into it really we could Posca paint pen the highlights in the hair but this is where you'd normally scratch back to get them real sharp white highlights Building it up. You can see I put these lines in here first because I'm trying to keep some of the white in between these strands and I'm just working this side of it and just flicking into that paint. We'll have a little pause. Right guys, I had a little pause and I sort of went in a bit on off camera and just put a few more darks in on the hairs, went in on the eyes again and just puffed a little bit more painting on the eyes. A little bit darker here. Just going to feather that up. as well. Coming over. Coming round. A 
a little bit more fade in here. One. Tiny little hairs, eyelashes. a lot darker and here This a little bit darker here. Just flicking with the brush. Right on this bottom of the jaw. So we've worked in here, dagger strokes, dagger strokes coming round. We are gonna tone this back a little bit more. We're now gonna work this piece here, work this in, then we'll move down to the rose. We'll put some textures in this, get this looking like this piece. We've got some more darks to go in here, darker band in here to separate there. And then we can move down, finish this bottom bit, blast that bit out, and then we'll be done. We'll drop some highlights in. Get them in place now. I've got a little one here. Let's drop the... This just makes the eyes pop when you put the... Uh... When you put the highlights in. some more tone into the lip and then we can drop some highlights into that. Just going to see what this looks like with a 
some of the paint pen in for highlights. Let's have a look. That don't look too bad. Just drop a few in, then we can just tone over these. Just a few. I know it's a monotone and it should just be one colour but we've got to pop a few highlights in. That'll do for now, we've got them in place. Right, we'll start working the top section. Right guys, we're moving on to the top piece. Have a little look. Get a little bit of dark in here. I'm just going to drop these edges on. I'm going to go that way. Around the top. Really is hard to see without glasses. <laughs> going to do some little model effects in here, create a texture, and I'm just flicking the brush just creating a pattern, just fogging it in Up here, 
just fogging it in and onto the side of the brush and creating a texture. Gonna go a little bit darker on the top. And then we're coming round. We've got a dark here. This just fogs out. Doing a little line past there. Let's darken this out here. It's creating a texture again. A little bit more darker up here. Coming over, we'll start working this side coming up. So we've got a line here. Chuck some paint in. Take it a little bit further. Do some textures off that. A little bit of fogging up this. I need to stand up for this bit. Right, let's see where we are. Drop some paint in. Drop some paint in here. Trying to get through this quick because my wife's come back and she's not seen me yet. I've cooked her some dinner. I've just had the dog barking, so she's she's rocked up in the car, and I'm stuck in the studio painting. <laughs> she's going to be like, "Where you been?" But I was itching to paint another one for you guys, so we'll just get this one blasted blasted out now. Once I get this top piece done and I'm working a bit further down, it'll be more comfortable. Could go a, a lot darker on this.
Oh, I need all this up right here. Yeah. Some more patches in. Right. Got a little bit more. That needed to be a bit further over there. That one needed to be further up, but it doesn't matter. You can just turn that back. It's because I'm working from this. I need to be sitting over here, but then I'll be blocking you. So that line did need to go up a little bit further, but it's either in or there. this out here Just drop some textures in there Right, we'll move on to the rows and we'll quickly buzz the rows out. Um, Really hard to see what I'm doing here. Got 
because half of these lines I didn't see when I blew, blew it up. Not bad. Right, let's get this bottom bit. Sorted. I'll just pan you down with the camera. Right. Freehand all this. So we've got that sort of lace pattern again. Only certain bits of this you can see. So I'm just going to do a pattern. And the rest is dark on there. again so I'm just going to do a random really small pattern tiny little dagger lines and just doing some like crisscrosses fine line just drawing a random pattern doing some little dark spots in it to try and match up
Oh, right, that's that bit. Right, we'll move on to this bottom piece here. So we've got like a, a lace pattern again, so free and just pulls this out. Just keeping a consistent line. Just drawing in all these little shapes. This is the beauty of the Evo as well. Once you get the feel of these triggers, you paint really fast with them. You know exactly where that paint is. So this is dark here. Coming up into this, just do some thicker lines into this one. some sort of thick lines going into thin lines on the patterns. Do some real fine mesh. Just roll that off there. Bit of dark spray. Just fog a bit in here. Do some very fine ones in here. Coming round into a bit of dark here. We'll just hold that. Right at the bottom of the easel. Blast some paint. And get some paint in. And we've got some weird pattern in here, a couple of little lines. More of the random Just follow that down. Draw a pattern for lace. Come around, bit of tone there. Bit darker here. Do some patterns in here. As I say, you've not got to mirror match everything. As long as you get it looking like it's got this little tiny 
crisscross pattern in it. When you stand back and look at the whole piece, it all comes together. Do some textures in there. Just flicking the brush, got the trigger set to a certain amount of paint. A little bit of texture. Bit more lace pattern. Coming down. erase that bit out. Right, we've just got this bit here. So let's drop the crease in. And then we'll just do some texture on top. Coming around. Nice and quick. It's a bit in here. And that and that comes around. Just doing this bottom bit quick, just to finish it off. little textures slowing that out a bit more Textures in there. Just going to line this out here. There. It's a shame about that bit there. We'll try and get that out. Just a little bit more on the shoulder coming round. There's a little bit of dark in here. A little bit darker in there. Pop that out a bit more. Sharpen that up. Just a bit more down there. Sharpen that out. Around here, dark. Just do some little lines in this. Pop that shoulder a little bit more. So make that pop. I think we're about there guys. Just gonna bring this down here a bit. Just bring that in there. It's just a little bit darker in here. Up here. Yeah, I think we're about there. Just gonna go a little bit more there. Drop shadow that a little bit more in here. Roll that around a bit more. A 
drop them lines a little bit darker. Right, we'll do a final buzz over with the knock these lines out. Try and get rid of that, but it won't. It's a shame. Just that little mark there. We could come down with the skin tone a little bit more on that, but not the unwanted. Pencil lines on. And I think we're all good. There's a few up here. Just going to drop a little bit of tone around the outside. There's some like sort of like marks coming down. Vintage around the outside. That will do. Just another buzz over with the eraser on the rose. There's a little We're good. We're all done guys. Just gonna pop the 
Highlights back in on the eyes. Oh, yeah, there's some on the lips to do now. Just a few little. On the lips, there's a couple of bits in here. There's a bit on here. A little bit here. Just a few. That'll do. We're all done. There you go guys, a quick one. I think I buzzed through that quite quick. I hope you picked up some bits along the way. We had that little mark there, which was a bit of a pain. I think I just caught it with the shield as I was coming down. Little tiny mark. We can't sort of erase that off. I could drop a little bit more. Skin tone down there and just blend that out. But that will do. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's come out quite nice. I'll just drop some random sort of pattern on the outside just to age it back a little bit more. So thanks for watching. Don't forget if you are new to the channel and you're liking this style of content, click that subscribe, press the notification because there is more, plenty more coming up on the channel. Drop your comments. I'll get back to you in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Really do appreciate the comments and everything that you're doing and support with the channel. See you in the next one.